My name's Hannah Seymour. I'm a geriatrician at Fiona Stanley Hospital. We're going to show you in this very short video an example of an orthopaedic registrar taking a history from a patient that enables them to calculate a clinical frailty scale. The clinical frailty scale is a well-validated tool that describes a person's function before they came into hospital. It's really useful for us in assessing the patient in a standard way and also predicting how they're going to recover from their hip fracture. This is the clinical frailty scale developed by Ken Rockwood. It ranges from one being very fit to nine being terminally ill. The description attached to each picture and number gives a good idea of how people function and enables you to assess people against this scale. I usually start by asking if people have services as that's a good way to, to assess the middle range of frailty. If people are completely independent and managing well at home, then I go on to ask them about exercise, which increases their frailty scale to one or two. At the frailer end of this scale, people can be completely dependent for personal care. Those are people who are severely frail and often in residential care. Sophie is gonna demonstrate how to assess the clinical frailty scale with one of our day one post-op patients, Paul. Hi Paul, how are you? Oh, not too well at the moment, thank you I'm so uh, for asking. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about that. My name's Sophie, I'm one of the doctors here. Yes, so Sophie. Yes. Um, and I'm sorry to hear about your hip fracture. Yes. I'm here to do a clinical frailty score, which <laughs> involves a few questions if you're happy to answer I'm them. I'm happy to answer them, yes. Thank, thank you. Yes. Okay, um, so do you live at, by, at home by yourself? I do. That's nice. I'm independent. Great. And do you get any services to help you at home? Yes, I do. Get uh, cleaning on Mondays mm -hmm. for an hour to an hour and a half. Shopping on Tuesday for uh, an hour and a half to two hours. And uh, physiotherapy on Wednesday morning for a short period of time. About eight forty, she comes to about nine o'clock. Okay, great. And do you have anyone that helps you with showering and bathing? Not at the moment, no. Okay, thank you. And do you walk with a walking stick? I do walk with a walking stick. One that can stand on itself, you know, legs. So I don't have to keep on picking it up from the floor. That's helpful. And how far would you go for a walk with the stick? No more than about 100 yards if I do go for a walk. But I don't go for a walk often. Okay. All right, well, thank you for letting me know that information. Yes. To summarise my interview with Paul, based on what we've communicated, I would score his clinical frailty score as a five and be able to correlate this and communicate it with my colleagues. 